Hey y'all, welcome to Donna's Farmhouse Kitchen. Well, today I'm gonna make Mama proud. I'm going to make an iced Italian cream cake. I have never made one before. But if you see this video, that means it came out great. So let's get started. We're gonna start off, our first thing I've done is I've already preheated the oven to 350 degrees. I have three nine inch cake pans that I've already sprayed with Baker's Joy. Yes, I said three. We're using three nine inch cake pans. So we're gonna start off with a half a cup of shortening. We're gonna cream all this together for five minutes. Two cups of sugar, granulated sugar and then one stick or two small sticks of unsalted butter. So let's get this creamed. Okay, so that was five minutes. Now I'm gonna add some eggs. Now we're gonna add egg yolks. I have separated five eggs and we're gonna add the egg yolks one at a time. Of course they busted, so we're gonna try to add the equivalent of one egg at a time and mix it well and then add the next. until we get them all mixed in. By the way, when I was beating the sugar and the shortening and the butter, I stirred it several times during the beating process, probably at least three times, just to make sure it was coming off the bottom and everything was getting whipped up real good. So let's put in the next egg. Yolk. Okay, so all the egg yolks are in. Now don't throw away those egg whites because you're gonna need them in just a little bit. Now we're gonna move on to the flour and buttermilk. So I have a cup of buttermilk and then I have sifted together the flour and the baking soda. And I have two cups of all-purpose flour and then one teaspoon of baking soda. So we're gonna start with a little bit of the buttermilk and we're gonna end with the buttermilk. So let's get a little bit of the buttermilk, mix that, put some flour in it and mix that. And it is sifted. So like I said, you wanna sift the, you wanna sift the flour and the baking soda together. flour mixture. And of course, scrape down the sides whenever you get an opportunity. And I like to scrape the bottom as well. And I'm doing this on medium speed. There, that's more medium. <laughs> A little bit more flour. So this is what it looks like 
Nice batter. Now we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla and a half a cup of chopped, now this is the whole cup, I'm just gonna fill this halfway. Half a cup of chopped pecans. And a whole cup of coconut, sweetened coconut. And we're just gonna mix it up. Now that that's mixed up, now we're gonna take the five egg whites and put them in a bowl. Now we're gonna beat these until we get stiff peaks. Now we're gonna fold the egg whites into the batter. making sure you get all of it. Just gently fold it in. until it's well combined. Then we're gonna evenly separate it between the three pans. I don't know about you, but I love anything with pecans. Spread it out, get it nice and flat. And we're gonna cook these for 25 minutes in that 350 degree preheated oven. If y'all hear any banging in the background, I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's my Halloween decorations. I have the trick or treat banner signs. Um, that's what I call them to hang beside my door, on each side of my door. And one of them uh, is really getting beat to death by the wind. <laughs> Yesterday it flew off, so I had to go retrieve it but it keeps knocking this, my door or beside my door, my window that's beside my door, I think is what it's really hitting more than anything. So that's what you're hearing. Mm. That's a good batter, let me tell you. That's a good batter. Let's get these in the oven. Let's give it 25 minutes and see how they come out. So while the cakes are baking, we are going to make a cream cheese icing. I have one eight ounce block of cream cheese that has been softening for a couple hours, I would say. So I have the original cream cheese from Philadelphia. Then we're gonna add one fourth cup of butter and that's one thing about getting these little sticks, that they're exactly one fourth. So sometimes they come in handy like this. We're gonna beat this and get it nice and fluffy. Now we're gonna add in 
16 ounces of powdered sugar. And one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to try not to let it fly everywhere. So we're going to start it off on a slow speed and then raise it up to medium. down the sides for our iced Italian cream cake. So all the cakes are done. I put them on a cooling rack. Here's one of them. I tried to speed up the process by putting them in the refrigerator. So now I'm going to start to ice them. So let me get some, some of that yummy icing on here. Then I'll add another one on top of it. Just lay it on top of the first layer. Make sure it's nice and even. So we want to get this icing on the top and going down the sides. I think it's going to be a thin layer of icing. <laughs> Yes, maybe I should have made it a little thinner in the in between the layers, but I kind of like some icing in between my layers. If you want more icing, I would probably double this recipe.
I don't have to have a lot of icing overall, but um, I do like it in between the layers. Let me get some more. And if you're wondering what's cooking behind me in the crock pot right there, it is my chili cook-off award-winning chili. And I did that video earlier this morning. And so it's just simmering in the crock pot. And if you want that recipe just go back to my videos and you will see it. Okay, so we're gonna have kind of that rough look and then we're gonna add some pecans to the top. A half a cup of pecans. Now we're going to sprinkle some pecans, half a cup. And since I haven't eaten any lunch today, I'm going to go ahead and slice this. And yes, I'm using an icing knife. Because it does pretty well. Okay. See what I mean? It makes a nice cut. Now, I know this is gonna taste better later. Um, usually, I don't like to eat stuff that I've baked um, right away. I like it to rest, but I couldn't help myself. You know. Mm, that coconut in there is so good. Mm. I want to put this in the fridge, this whole cake, and let it get chilled because I know it's going to taste really good chilled. Mm. That's good. Those pecans, you could even toast those pecans if you wanted to. So, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. Thank you so very much again, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. By the way, I want to let you know that this is actually a Trisha Yearwood cake. This is her ice Italian cream cake. Trisha. It's a great recipe. Y'all have a great day.